So a lot of people think this is a big risk and they see Craig Sanders, the Birmingham Bullet, as a heavy, heavy favourite. What I like about this match, where Craig's weak, Ray is strong. It's young versus old, and it is going to go down. Please welcome the first of our athletes now to the stage, Rolly Ray Rapin. My name is Raymond Sliapinch, I'm from Latvia. Most people know me as Coach Ray. You need to research anything, even if it's aches and pains. <laughs> you go to Coach Ray. I've been arm wrestling myself for over 30 years and I've, I've still picked up some tips and techniques from watching his videos. Ray Lipins portrays himself as just a coach, maybe a smart move. Ray Lipins can really pull and the guy can do damage. And Neil calls me and will you pull Craig Sanders? And of course I said yes. So uh, my name's Craig Sanders, um, nickname's the Birmingham Bullet. The Birmingham Bullet! I know Craig very well. I know him for, I don't know, seven, eight years. I will destroy him. I will make him bleed. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I've been a little bit set up. I'm in Birmingham facing the Birmingham Bullet. He is really fast, explosive. <laughs> I think I'm just naturally fast. I don't practice hits or anything. The Birmingham Bullet, Craig Sanders. I would say unarguably. Britain's greatest ever lightweight arm wrestler. Time's caught up with him a little bit and we've seen Craig go up a weight class. He finds himself in the middleweight division and it's about the power. Is the speed still there? Shoulder please, Ray. Ray. A little bit nervous because it's my first match in a, in a long time. But looking at Ray, he looks ready. I think he's dangerous because he's definitely strong. I'm a little bit concerned about the speed. He wants to six nail me real fast and I want to stop this match. Relax, relax, relax. Ready, go. Craig on the runner. Craig Sanders on the runner. Warmer throw off the start from Craig, but couldn't finish and Lightning just stopped it. And we're in a deep war there. Good Craig, get me back to that I hit straight into his power and uh, I found myself on his side of the table. You get into a bad position with Ray Lightbinge, you're in an arm wrestling match. I'm thinking I could possibly pull him back from the bum here but I'll, I'll have to work hard for it. I sort of let the first match go because I thought oh, I don't want to drain all my power and I'll, I'll see what I can do in the next round. Six rounds, a lot of things can happen and it's always interesting and this is why Arm Wars has always been so great because it makes such a great matches. Neil is a mastermind, he knows how to pick the best opponents and have the best matches. Ray, take it off, take it off. I'm, I'm not no, 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 you're fighting constantly and I'm, I'm not going yeah. there. I want that, not that, okay? Come on, that's, that's, that's pretty much good there, we can get that. Watch his calf. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Don't worry, just relax. Calf, he's got a calf on. No, wrist. Just bring it a touch. Ready, go. Craig's on the runner. Great, great. We're live. We're live. We're live. A much better hit from Sanders, and he's starting to get the feeling for the match. I mean, a signs for Rolly Ray, because the Birmingham Bullet just hit its target. The hand and wrist are being worked. And Craig Sanders is in cruise control. He has a great cup. When his hand goes in, it's very hard to open him up. Yeah, so I'm in a comfortable position. I've, I've, I'm all over his hand, and he's just he's just let his wrist go and slipped out accidentally on purpose. Together for me. I'm thinking it's too early to go inside with him, so I'm going to try and apply a load of back pressure and climb in his hand because maybe I'll try and go inside with him later on in the match. And he was like, Put your elbows back. Yeah, go with it. I'm going to solve that before I take the note. Put your elbows back a little bit. Give me some room to work with. Yeah? 
It's always a little bit, yeah. With fighting Craig, you cannot be running away from him. You cannot be pulling back, you cannot be going to the side, he's just gonna run through you. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna run right into his arm and see what happens. Take it off, both men. Bring it off, Ray. Ray, I need some rotator. Ready, go! Ray, you're on a runner. Ray's on a runner. Ray's on a runner. Ray's on a runner. Ray's on a runner. Ray, get your elbow on, I'm gonna follow it. Ray, we're live, Bill, we're live. I've got hand control, I've got him in a good position. I'm just trying to bait him into a long match, but he's not taking the bait. I wanted him to fully commit because I, I had a good hand position on him and I could have pinned him at one point, but I was just trying to bait him into full on red line, even a awkward position, but he didn't he didn't take the bait. And pretty much like the first match, he did the same as I did. He let the match go. Before this match, I was looking at some of his super matches and I thought it make me feel better, but it didn't make me feel any better. I'm like, this guy's so fast, he's so ridiculous. The whole Latvian team are all, every, every single one of them are really strong, mainly because of Yannis Amelins, who, who he's been multiple world champion and I've had, I've had quite a lot of matches against Yannis myself. Jan Samolinch has faced him in two super matches. I remember 2014, it was such a scramble, but that match just was amazing. Doesn't help me that Yannis will be in his corner telling him what to do against me because he, he knows me inside out. I, I will try to do my best when the time, time comes. And I, I know I can, can be 100% focused because my guys know when it's time for me, they will give me 100% support. They will be in my corner. They will not ask me anything. They will give me space and everything else. And uh, that's why you have a good team and good teammates that help and support each other. Round three now, and I'm, I'm feeling confident after, after the last match. I'm starting to feel in control. Okay. Give me some shoulders, Craig, and let's get centre, that's good, yeah? That's good, the knuckles are good, knuckles are good, okay? relax, relax, settle down, Craig. No, don't even cough. Yeah, don't worry, he's not carrying I want to finish it outside of the straps, but I don't, I don't feel good in the set-up. I don't, I don't know what he's done to it, just... What's the biggest thing on your mind now? <laughs> um... Yeah, I've got to say, the buckle again. <laughs> Come on, just keep it there. Oh, yeah, come on, Craig, just keep it there. First foot. Get Craig. Yeah, but no, look at this back there. Yeah, no, but you're already at the front. Right, okay, if I put you both at back, yeah. listen to what I'm saying to yeah. you. Yeah. Right, you both try to play the game. When I'm the <laughs> boss, do as you told. Paul Maiden in his usual silver tongue cavalier style. Right, stop fucking around, guys. Right. Right. Listen, I'm not even applied the strap. You're not going to get a referee's grip till the strap's applied. So you're fighting for a referee's grip, all right. So get your elbows back. Stop tossing about. <laughs> he's a funny guy. I like him because you know I like to stay relaxed. But um, he's also firm at the same time, which you know, which, which is good. It's, it's, a, it's a good balance. Okay, okay. Ready? Give me a shoulder. Give me a shoulder. And give me some knuckle. That's okay. That's nice. Okay, we're gonna move to rear right touch. Just a bit of carving. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this guy out on both men. Ready? Go. Elbow throw, restart. Yeah, but it stayed up. It's a foul. It's not a running foul when the elbow's up in the air. Yeah. For two inches. Restart. Sorry, let's go. Yeah, I think he beat me fair and square there. I wasn't in the match anyway. I think that should have been a win to him. I really haven't seen people top rolling Craig. I'm going to try that. If I can stop him, 100% I can do it. Here we go. Nothing feels better when you pull something off that you weren't sure you could pull off. Ray Lipins with a top roll. Yeah, right. So it's 2-1 now. I think the buckle's playing a big part. 
In my head it is anyway. No, we have the, the buckle on the shot, yeah. Top row reversal. I feel more confident in my abilities as an arm wrestler. Before this match, I didn't have that much confidence in my hand, but in what previous two super matches have showed me, my hand is really, really good. The problem is in me, not really believing myself that I can do it. I'm just gonna go for the strap again this time. I think buckle's favoring me, so. <laughs> so there's a big thing about the buckle, isn't there, going on? <laughs> okay, don't climb my fingers from there. Come on, relax, it's all right. I think he still believes his game is to get me in and pull me to the side as fast as he can. And I think that's what he's been focusing for. Bring that out, shoulders. Bring it out for me, bring it out for me, man. Bring it out for me. Greg, wrist. Go. Yeah, I think if, if you haven't got the buckle on, on your side on the strap, you, you can get away with a little bit more in the setup. Don't give him anything in the strap. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the buckle this time. He's got the buckle this time. I had the buckle last time. Yeah, so Paul must think I'm an idiot just telling him his job, but I just wanted to make sure that I had the buckle because it was really becoming an issue for me. I'm not arguing with you anymore, boys. Right, you stay in there. If you move from there, I'm going to foul you. Because you stay but make it a joke. Come on. Right. Where's, the, where's Craig's elbow? Craig's elbow? Same, place, place, as, move, same place as yours. Same sure, place as yours. Sure, about two inches down. Yeah. Right, now move your elbow down, Craig. Move back. Move down, move down, so it's at least somewhat, you know, fair. Listen, Ray, there's no one further than me in this room. I know. Right then, okay. That's why you're here. Okay, get them down, okay? I'm going to tighten those so up. No, wait till I release it, Craig. Open your thumb, Craig. Now you can take your grips. Elbow on the pad. Craig, elbow on the pad. When you know when the referee lets go, I always lift my elbow up a little bit just to get a better position. And you get told off for it, but you only get you only get told off. You don't get a foul, so I always do it. <laughs> Centre table is towards the crowd. Centre table's there. I'm going to bring this. Knuckles are good, okay, we're going to bring this wrist out, Ray. We're going to bring it round. We're going to bring it, Ray, bring it off. Bring it off. I don't want to force it, Ray. Bring it off. Ray, bring it off. Ray. Ready, go. Enjoy, we are on the way. No, but so much to tell me. But Ray's still with it. I'm not sorry, Bishop. He's still engaged. There's so many things happening. I'm transitioning from top roll without the hand to a press to a top roll with the hand. He's moving all over the table, but I didn't feel very comfortable in this round. I couldn't get good connection on his arm. If you're in a dominant position in the match, he's only slightly out of position and he's working twice as hard as you, but He's still not. He's still not fully fall, falling for. He's too experienced. So as soon as the match went live, then I thought I need to finish the match and I, and I need to finish it clean, no fouls. So I absolutely love Armor's rules because I think it makes first of all the match is longer. If if one guy makes a mistake and he has to dig out. So now Neil's in my corner. He's telling me that his hands are gone now, but I don't know if it is because I thought it was gone in the second match and it's just been back and forth, back and forth, so let's wait and see. Craig Sanders there, and Kareem was looking for the wrist and hand and he got it on that occasion, but this is Nick and Tusk. Craig, bring that curve right off, Craig. Bring it off, come on, you can't call him. Even. Bring it off, bring it off, bring it round. He's got my knuckles, look. He's not got your knuckle, he's right. not, he's not. You bring that curve okay. off, Craig. All right, all right. 
Craig, bring it off, come on. It has to really come round. Don't be great. Bring it round. I don't want to force it, guys. Wrist off, Craig. Bring it round. Craig, come on. I have to make this match where I want to go. Off, please. Come on. Ready, go. He's got a good position on me straight away, and it was either lose or and or slip out and go to the straps even though I've got the buckle. We'll play mind games in the match. So if I will see that he's getting tired, I will look as fresh as a daisy and I will just try to keep going. Try to make him feel more uncomfortable, more tired and just look at me and he's like, ah, you know, if I can do that. Go on, Craig, there means the. Double there means the. No, come on. <laughs> Craig, there means the. Please don't keep turning it out, Craig. I don't want to warn you, Pelvis. Keep it there. Okay, just a little bit of that. Right, a bit tighter. Yeah, of course you can. We're in the strap. All right, wait, let me tighten it first. Okay. You carved in like yeah. crazy. I know, I'm going to sort it, but you've got to attempt to get a bit. Come around the wall. You both carved in really like no more. Not that knuckle, Craig. I want you to come off his knuckle, Craig, and we're almost ready to go. Just that corner, just that tiny corner there. You know we have that enormous Both high high pressure, enormous amount of tricep strength. Bring it round, I want to bring you right round, boys. Come on. Don't want to force you, come on. Ready, go. Got a good hand position straight away, even though I've got the buckle. Um, but my body's not connecting, and I'm so I need to get back to the centre of the table. But then the, the called a running foul on me, so it will be a restart. You're staying in the straps, guys. Good. You know, if I can if I can win this match with the buckle, then oh, that'll be a big turning point for me. If it goes where he wants to go, I have less chances. Shoulders. Wrist off break. Wrist off break. Ready, go. Ah. So it's 3-2 now, just back and forth. Yeah, I think, I think I was expecting the same again, and Ray just went 100% from the start, and I wasn't expecting that, so, yeah, good on him. I've walked to the corner, you know, a bit disappointed in myself, and <laughs> Rose has called me a silly sausage. I went to a competition years ago, shows how old I am, because the first prize was a colour TV. She entered the women's competition, just to make up the numbers, and she won the colour teller, and I came second. She'll, she'll never let me leave that down. Last draw of the dice for the Birmingham Bullet. this one. Shoulder. Even though Ray's a lot younger than me, he's got a, he's got a lot of experience too for for a young age. I would say being a coach is a disadvantage if you also want to be a good arm wrestler. For the last two years, I had a chance because of the pandemic and everything to put more emphasis on me. I'm, there, I'm never going to stop arm wrestling on. It's, it's, it is a sport that you can do well into your 50s, 60s, even 70s. So some, some of the best in the world are in the, in the 60s. So that, that's motivation for me to keep going. Give me that knuckle, Greg. Give me that knuckle, Greg. Stop your gripping, though. Bring it off, Greg. Bring it off. Ready, go. It works for other people, but for me, if I, if I got angry during the match, I, that's when you make mistakes. So I just try and stay as relaxed as I can. Tighter? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just completely loose here. But he, yeah, but he, he, listen. I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything. Keep your elbows down. Yeah. Yeah, I lift my elbow off the pad and then he, he pulls it towards him. To get your elbows on the pad. He's just both just trying to get any punches in the strap. 
Okay, come on. Shoulder, shoulder, please, Greg. Shoulder. Come on, take your grips. Greg, take. Centers here. Centers there. It's got to come to rear. It's got to come to rear. Where do you go? So this is it, the moment of truth. This match has had everything, or at least we thought we had. You want to see a war? This is a war. Come off that knuckle, Craig. You're well over his knuckle, Craig. Right. I don't want to put you in referee's grip, but he's coming. Referee's grip. Yeah, let's go. Uh, tighten the strap a little bit. Yeah, it was a bit fine No, no, it's referee's grip now. It's a referee's grip, okay? Okay. I don't want to pin him, I want to make him bleed. And if I can make him bleed, well, you just lost. Okay, Ray, I'm going to wrap you first. No, Craig. Here we go! Craig, you're on the runner. Craig, get the other one. Yeah, when Ray got that press on me, I was full on red lining. I'm in a good position. I'm giving him a little bit, just trying to bait him into the match again. But all of a sudden, he pushes me off my bone line. Brilliant move, just holding on for dear life there. Regardless of the outcome now, it's been, it's been a brilliant technical match. All I need to do now is win it. I have prepared, I have trained, uh, put in a lot of work in this month after my last super match. So, expect the war. Just got to give it everything I've got now. One more time, give it up for these guys, ladies and gents. Right, let me get this strap on. Right, listen, I want to hear, we're still in the referee's grip. So let me stop. The strap, can you pull tighter? Yes, of course, I just want to make sure that when I tighten it, okay. you're okay. both okay? Okay. No, Craig? Huh? No, no, I'm going to start not pushing yeah, yeah, yeah. out, okay? Yeah? Yep. No, no, it's a referee's grip. Yeah, you're pulling my fingers. Yeah, I'm not going to pull your yeah. fingers because it's a referee's grip. You get the wrap first this time, okay? Give me some shoulders. Out. Okay. Put your thumbs up, both guys, man. Okay, listen to me. Listen. Right, Ray, did you have your thumb sorry, up? Sorry, sorry. Okay, Craig, thumb up or down? Thumb down. Okay, Craig, down. Like thumb, it. Ray, up or down? Yeah, yeah, down, down. Okay, put your thumb down, Ray. Okay. <laughs> Craig, I'm going to wrap you first. Yeah. Don't move, Craig. Ready go! It, it doesn't put as much pressure as world title, to be honest, yeah. But it's close, it's very close. Especially here in Birmingham. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, that was biblical! Out of all of my arm wars matches, this, is, this, is, this has definitely been my best match. Even, even though I lost the match, still, still up there with, a, well, so I'd say the best match that I've been involved in. Most of the time, my press has always been my go-to move. Bicep has two heads, tricep has three, so you just go where there are more heads there. Gotta give credit to Ray. He's he's he's, uh, he's he's good. I told you he's good. I earned some rest, so <laughs> some rest and partying and having good time with my Armistice family. Because the best part of all these trips, all these competitions, is hanging out with people later, feeling you're part of some really 
cool community is the best. This is why I'm here, for the community. I love the community, this is why I stayed. I just love the sport, I just win or lose, I, I enjoy doing it, I'm just, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Ray loves cats.